And good morning. Time to wake up. Today's going to be a better day than yesterday. JC? What was wrong with yesterday? Oh, sad in the morning. <laughs> anyway, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on this great looking Wednesday morning edition of Cooper and Company Live. This is Athens in the AM. Thank y'all for getting up with us. Join us on this show today. Frank Scrimpture, the legendary man on the phone at 230-4988 or text Gloria 603-4848. Also in here this morning... Roy Williams on Wednesday and Tom McAllister. Good morning, boys. How are y'all? Good. Uh huh. And also, don't forget, it's 10% off each and every Wednesday, Roy, in case you don't remember what your little boy said. Then at Herbs and More, right down the road here on Highway 72. So get by there. Johnny Lee D should be with us later on this morning from Cross Point Church. Tell us all the good things going on down there. Roy, you brought some products up here this morning. I was just looking at this one you've got right here. Uh,. How you pronounce this? Prevagen. <laughs> Prevagen? Yes. Healthier brain, mm -hmm. sharper mind, protects memories. That's right. Hey, if, you, if you've got Alzheimer's or dementia, I'm telling you, it changes a lot of people's lives. Really? Tell you more about it. What's the name of it again? Prevagen. Now, what's the name of your business? <laughs> Herbs and more. <laughs> I've got so many I forgot. i got to get that clear thinking in here. Uh, protects memories. Mm -hmm. Frank? It says take one tablet daily. You need to shoot up about three of these a day. Uh, so we'll talk about Roy just a little bit. A lot of stuff going on. Anyway, thank y'all for getting up with us. Football season fast approaching. Elections two weeks from yesterday. So we'll be keeping you posted on all that kind of stuff too. So we've got it going on this morning. You know what surprises me? Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit, about some complaints I've received this week. No. Yeah. Now, but you ain't going to believe what it's about. <laughs> And I hardly ever heard anybody complaining. They might complain about Gloria, but they never complained about the living legend himself. Oh, right now, let's check in with the weather first. Oh, Frank, shut up. Let's talk in right now with Gloria with the weather, and here it is, and then we'll get some clearer thinking going on here in just a moment, too. Y'all hang on. <laughs> you may want to take that whole bottle. <laughs> let's talk about that weather forecast. 69 degrees out there this morning should be an absolutely beautiful day. We've got only 20% chance of showers, so... I don't even think you need to worry about that umbrella today. High temperatures around 88 today with your low of 64. Partly cloudy skies too, but you should see some sunshine. Tomorrow, high temperatures of 92, 68, 69 for your low. Pretty much the same forecast as today. Friday looks like the day for rain with a high of 85. Carried on into maybe some rain in the morning on Saturday, but it looks like Saturday will turn out to be beautiful. 2-3-4-9-8-8 gets Frank. I already cut my sprinkler back a little bit. You did. Yeah, I cut it off because I thought it might rain, so I'm tired of that uh, tremendous water bill I'm getting every month. Huh? I, I had to cut up. mine back, too. Did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think after uh, last month's bill, everyone is. My utility bill, Roy, was... Uh, too much. Uh, sky high. Oh, let me go back to my complaints right quick. Uh, I got to give a shout-out this morning to Miss Hancock over in Decatur watching. <laughs> She's one of them. She don't know when I was getting tea and in. So I got that. But... Roy, I didn't run Country Rovers Monday. We run them for years on Monday. Mm -hmm. I did this thing, and you're going to be one of my subjects in this, uh, off the cuff. We interviewed Benny Carl and I ran that this past, and the outhouse guy Monday in place of that. They're half hours on each people. You know, clients, whatever, we're getting into that too. It's like Eddie Pruitt. We're going to do Eddie Pruitt. He's been, he, I see his new commercial. He's talking about, well, 27 years in business. You know what my number one question for him is going to be? Well, how'd you operate the first five years without advertising with me? Because he's been with me 22 years. I just wonder. Jamie. But anyway, I got several people say, hey, what happened to the country rovers? Well, my goodness, how long has it? Y'all hey, see them over and over and over again. <laughs> Already missed they're, they're they classics. Well, I mean, come they're on, classics. cut me a little bit of slack, people. Well, I mean, like, we're getting hundreds and hundreds of people calling in. You only got about I seven I made complaints. that up, but, you know, sounds good. It's like you watching the Alabama games over and over, and it'll be like this. I'm like, you know we won that game, don't you? Man, what's your point? <laughs> Tom's same way. Man. Frank's same way. Y'all uh, ain't got a whole lot to cheer about, Roy, Tennessee fans. Chill, but, chill I mean, bumps come over here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They do, yeah. yeah. Get alive. Hey, y'all remember watching Welcome Back, Carter, growing up? Yes. Y'all had TV, didn't you? We did. <laughs> well, Ron Patel Patillo, the actor best known as the nerdy high school student Arnold Horshack, died yesterday. Aww. He was 63 years old. The sitcom yeah. ran from 75 to 79 on ABC. It made who a big star? John Travolta. John Travolta. John Travolta. 
was the big star there. Uh, Y'all know the old Chad Johnson headbutted his wife, the football player. They've been married one month. She divorced him. No. Uh, Evelyn Lozonda is ending her marriage to Chad Johnson, that professional football player, was arrested for alleged headbutting her last weekend. He told them, she said he didn't only admitted what he'd done, it might not have been so bad, but he told the police she headbutted him. Mm. Like a woman can't wait Idiot. to headbutt an athlete. Really? You know. <laughs> Somebody that size. Well, he was doing, a, she was, <laughs> yeah. He got kicked off the show Hard Knocks on HBO, too, and was cut by the Miami Dolphins. So his life went down the toilet pretty easy. Pretty quickly. You know. Wow. Pretty easily. Speaking of toilet, I'll get back to that in a second. I got <laughs> something on that I'm going to talk about if I can find it. I may have misplaced it, but you know. Good. Hey, also coming up this weekend, free catfish. You mentioned that yesterday. Madison County Commissioner <laughs> Roger Jones will be frying catfish nuggets in celebration of Athens of uh, Alabama Catfish Month Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 at the Madison County Farmers Market. And also, the tw getting this out of the Huntsville Times this morning, the 12th Annual Lincoln County Fair Barbecue Cook-Off is September 8th in Fayetteville. This year, whenever the fair takes place, we're going to try to get up to them and let you milk, milk a goat. Again, no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't <Abby>. forget, <laughs> Madison County Commissioner, my little brother, running as a Democrat. Got a great chance to win that, you folks out there in District 3. He's the best man for the job. <laughs> there he is. Give him a free plug. I'll bill him later. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Jeff Cooper. <laughs> Jeff Cooper, there he is, running for mm. who'd I ever thunk it. Mm. You know, he's just trying to follow in my footsteps since I ran for probate judge. Hopefully he'll be more successful. Hopefully. Than, <laughs> hopefully he'll be more successful than I was, Roy. Yeah. You ever thought about running for office? No. No, don't I want can't. everybody to know everything I can't about find my toilet. <laughs> I can't find my toilet story. I must have dropped it. You can't find what? I don't want everybody to know everything about me. <laughs> Uh, I was real sad to hear Margaret Thatcher died. That's too, just too bad. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even hear that, that happen. Yesterday. Oh, did I? Yeah, she was one of the greats. She and yeah. Ronald Reagan worked together yeah. and shut down the biggest empire on earth. I'm surprised we empire. haven't heard that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of voters, USA Today this morning has got a picture of this young Latino looking gal on the frame. It says 90 million. That's how many Americans could vote in November, but likely won't. Says that they started out, they could turn a too close to call race into a landslide by, for President Obama, but by enough addition, they probably won't. Says call them unlikely voters. A nationwide uh, USA Today tour, um, tour uh, survey says uh, people who are eligible to vote but aren't likely to do so finds that these stay at home Americans back Obama's re election over Romney by two to one. But they don't want to say they don't want to vote because they said their vote probably won't count. They're not excited about it. That's because they're sitting at home getting all the welfare they can get. They don't want to worry about going and, and voting for somebody. Why would they want to vote for somebody that they ain't going to give them what they want? I got some words of advice for them. If you're going to vote for Obama, stay home. <laughs> yeah, that's what we. <laughs> hope you're not wearing an Obama shirt in here this morning. <laughs> Sold out Bama. Sold out Bama. I like that. <laughs> All right. Hey, they got a uh, dictionary. They've added some new words. Y'all heard about them? Oh. Yeah, you know, every year, every so, this, uh, it's about freaking time. It, what is it? The term elf bomb now is in, is in that surfaced in newspaper 20 years ago. Yesterday started in the new Merrimack Collegiate Dictionary along with sexting, uh, energy drink, and life coach. <laughs> Those are now Life words coach, in the dictionary. Sexting. Yeah. Where's my funk and wagon when I need it? <laughs> it's in the back. And now you use your Google Sexting? or Brad. Sexting. Sexting. So what that is, Roy? S E X T. I you know, you see your naked pictures of me? What? What's the definition? Sexting? Well, Jamie does it well. That's Usually sends it to the wrong a, person. Sending a uh, nude photo of yourself. Like, you don't or remember Anthony nude. Weiner? Or oh, partially over, nude. over. Uh -huh. But in the internet or A something. A sexy message to someone. Come on, Roy. Never done it. <laughs> well, well, I hope not, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it's, know anybody that's done it. If I have sexed you, it's a, it was a mistake, okay? A mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a true story. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. If, if I did, if, if I sexed you, it was a mistake, He'll okay? He'll always be like, did you get that message? I'm like, what message? Who'd you send it to? Mm, and you I'll know, have to I've, check his phone. I've done that before. If, if I sexed you, it was a mistake. I thought maybe it meant she was trying to figure out which sex they were. No. <laughs> That's not it. Roy, That's come on. That's confusing nowadays, you know. Roy, come on. I'm going to send you a naked picture of me today. No. <laughs> no. Please don't. <laughs>
<laughs> Please don't. Well, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back on there. Oh, oh, here, uh, here's a dear Jamie I've got on there. Oh. Baby, I've had it for a couple of days. You would have to my husband and I have been together it. for 10 years, got uh, four beautiful kids. Uh, I, I recently discovered my husband's been sending nude photos over the internet to an unknown email address and asking the recipient for a no strings attached sexual encounter. How's it going, Frank? Not too good. I'm completely <laughs> shocked. To me, this is cheating. We've talked about this before up here. He said he was seeking attention from other women, Tom, because our sexual relationship hasn't been up to par in his mind. He said he had never, he has never cheated on me. He claims, quote, Roy, he was just looking to see, quote, if, <laughs> that's a sex picture. Oh, he claimed he was just looking to, quote, see if okay, he bad. still had it. Uh. Oh. If he still had it. And? Did he? He well, didn't get a response see. from He works email. a lot out of town. <sighs> I can't seem to get this email or image out of my mind. Let me tell you something. Oh, she goes, dear heartbroken. <laughs> Sending nude photos and asking for your asking for sex puts your husband in a special category. I'm flirting with a co-worker to see if I still have it. That's basically what he's saying. A special category, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's why I don't happen to Anthony Weiner. He was texting pictures of himself and then lied, lied, lied. Now I hear he's getting back into politics. Thinking mm. about it. Whatever. Well, he made up with How Wiener will travel, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is cheating. How, how Wiener will travel. <laughs> oh. Oh, Joe. Hey, there's a letter to the editor this morning. I just mentioned that my little brother Jeffrey's running as a Democrat. Uh, that's his only negative thing he's got against him, but he had, had no choice in that. Letter to the editor this morning in the Huntsville mm -hmm. Times says, Democrats and chiggers, Frank, <laughs> said demos and scapegoats. Uh, recent Times article was so touching it brought tears to my eyes. Imagine right-wingers calling the Democrat communists and using scare campaign tactics against them. Then it goes on down here at the bottom. It's talking about this stuff. Does anyone believe that left-wingers would stoop so low to accuse Republicans of something like that? Then it says, uh, if you listen to President Obama, did you hear any good suggestions on how to get the economy started? Just remember, he, his, this is the end of it. Just remember, he's your man, like it or not. You know I never thought much about it, but maybe the Democrats are to blame for Jiggers, too. Both get under your skin. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get rid of Jiggers. That's right. You get shut up, as my grandmother used to say. Shut up. Yeah. That's right. Hey. Spartacus, I saw the movie over the weekend, the original Spartacus, 1960. It wasn't. Well, Kurt Douglas last night, they showed this at the Academy sold out uh, picture arts and science audience last night. Jumped to his feet when he showed up. He's 95 years old. Goodness. Wow. 95. That's awesome. 95. That's awesome. Of course, you know his son, Michael, Michael is married to a younger woman who he's older than her daddy. Catherine Zeta-Jones. So I guess they got... I don't know who he's married to, but he's 95. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm going to do one other last quick thing. I couldn't find my toilet story this morning. I must have dropped it. Uh, mm -hmm. Dumped it. News Courier's Facebook page this morning. What habits give you road rage? Mm -hmm. Now, I shared with y'all last week that story over in Gunnersville when that 30-something-year-old guy followed that woman into the parking lot of the courthouse in her van. She mm -hmm. didn't signal. He goes up to her, cusses her out with her, her six-year-old girl with her, and then headbutts the woman. In front of the child. Yeah, in front of the house. Well, luckily it happened at the courthouse where some probation officers came up and arrested the guy. But anyway, they just got here. What is, what is your road rage. biggest problem with road ragers? Hmm. Or maybe what would give you road rage, Roy? I don't know. I'm pretty laid back. I don't drive. Using no. emergency lane as a through traffic. <laughs> no signaling. Drifting over. Pulling out and getting right in front of a car. Not getting over. Uh, Tom, what's yours? Waiting the last second to get over. Break for Tom, tailgaters. Okay, we have one. I don't. You in the insurance business? I know. That's what I, I thought. I don't have. You don't. I'm I'm kind of laid back You're driving. Home driving. Yeah. Too much testosterone. Yeah. You know, I guess one of the. I don't ever get mad about anything, but what gets my. You know, of course, y'all know what I drive. A smart car. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> I'm coming down the road in a Hummer. <laughs> what, what what gets me? People will wait till the last moment to pull out in front of me. Yeah. Well, I in guess I could Hummer. say uh, turn signals. <laughs> they didn't see this you. Is one. Oh, yeah, they didn't see me, yeah. They didn't see that tank behind them. Clogging the left lane. Uh, you know, road rage. 
It's it all is. over the place. It is when kids are right, driving, I mean, when kids are walking around in the car, or standing up in the front seat, or even sitting in the front seat, no seat belt. Ooh, yeah. Can yeah, yeah, just yeah. pull them over? <laughs> all right. Anything else y'all want to talk about? Nope. nope. Roy, I may have to get me some of this stuff here. That's an interesting product. Healthier brain. It's not your product, though, is it? No, it's not. Healthier brain, so. sharper mind, and protects memories. Yep. Better start now. <laughs> you are Roy. For you. <laughs> well, you know what? We forgot to show what you ate for breakfast this morning since he said I shouldn't get fat. Uh -huh. What I had for breakfast this morning. What was it? <laughs> you better start taking those. Oh, we got that shot? Oh, no, we don't have it. Okay. It. Well, All pancakes. Right. Whipped cream. Quit Strawberries. complaining about Country Rovers not airing on, but they'll be back this Monday. They will. Speaking of that, I got an anniversary coming up I didn't even remember. On not the mine. 19th of this month will be 20 years ago that I left Channel 31. And they ain't been the Florida same State? since. Oh, stop. Huh? They're gone downhill, that's right. <laughs> downhill? They roll, they just took off. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Just because I asked for a little bit more money than they were willing to pay me at the time. Probably four times what you were making. Yeah, that's about right. I know. I saw the contract. It was ridiculous. Well, but look where you are today because of it. <laughs> look <Lucky> at <laughs> me. I'm so lucky. Look where you are today because of it. <laughs> Highly in And they only paid me what I felt like I was. Somehow, Roy, when you start negotiating with somebody who owns the company and is a multimillionaire. They don't think you're worth quite. They just don't do. want to share it as much as you think they would. You know, they don't agree that you're worth like as much as you think you are. So I'm don't getting... nobody work for me be asking for no more money. I think I'll give myself a raise today. I thought I paid you well. All right, I got to take a break. I'll come back with some news in just a moment. Y'all hang on. And we are back on this Wednesday morning. Let's quickly go over that weather forecast. 69 degrees out there already this morning. Going to be an absolutely beautiful day. Only 20% chance of showers in the forecast today. High temperatures around 88 with your low of 64. Tomorrow I could just say ditto basically, except it's going to be 92. Looks like rain will be here on Friday. That's our biggest chance for rain anyway. And then hopefully Saturday and Sunday, no rain to worry about and everyone can enjoy their weekend. 2304988 does get frank this morning. I have a group of gentlemen up here with me this morning. We're talking about soul out Christians. How are you? We're doing great. Good. 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 Now, now introduce yourself because I'm going to ask you a few questions here and then you had some things to say too. What is your name? My name is Alex Tonina okay. and uh, I'm the senior pastor of Soul Out Christian Center in San Francisco. In San Francisco. Yes. I knew I didn't hear about it here. <laughs> so you came all the way from San Francisco right. to Athens, Alabama to do just this one event? Well, in, in, uh, we started in May 9th. We've mm -hmm. been coming out every week, you know, and okay. having Bible studies on Wednesday and leadership training on Thursdays. Uh -huh. So we've been doing that for the last 15 weeks. Okay. And jump-starting a new ministry that's called Sold Out Christian Center International. Where does this take place? Uh, Where do you meet? We meet at... Uh, Off of Jefferson Highway. Yeah. Okay. On 127. All right. So is, is that open to the public? It's Anyone open to the to public. Come? Yeah, open to the public. And then this coming Saturday, we're going to ordain Pastor TJ as the senior pastor and open and dedicate the new church. This will be our eighth branch wow. uh, here in Athens, Alabama. So we have a branch in the headquarters in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Then we have another branch in Kent, Washington. Okay. And then we have a branch in Monterey, pastored by Pastor Kit Totolo. And then, our, then we have another branch in Las Vegas, pastored by uh, Pastor Lockie. Then we have another branch in Hawaii. I think with, I'd like to visit that one. <laughs> <laughs> with Pastor Joe. Then we have two Latino ministries, uh, Pastor Angel in South San Francisco mm -hmm. and Pastor Ed Gonzalez in Prunedale, California. And then, of course, branch number eight here in Athens. Now, I know you two gentlemen are probably wanting to talk as well, but what possibly made you pick Athens, Alabama? Well, th there's a young lady by the name of Lori. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> we, we don't know these things, but they streamed us in live for the past two and a half years. Okay. Uh, they were gathering in her living room, watching us, watching me, uh, preaching the word. And then two years later, she picked up the phone this past January this year and called us and, and said, what would it be, you know, what would it take to bring a sold out here? We're a ministry that catered to uh, youth and uh, children, 
Uh, we have a sports program. Mm -hmm. We have kids come out of our ministry that are in the NFL. We have kids, you know, that are in SEC. You know, um, my son went to you Tennessee. Must, I was going to say, you must do well. You said you had how many children? We have six. You have my six. My wife and I have and six. And they're all good. They're all good. And uh, two well grandkids. For that. And two grandkids. Yes. Good for you. Um, now, Jamie asked you, how'd you keep them so good? And what did you say? Well, you know, well, we spank them. We spank them. We spank them. You know, <laughs> we, we believe in, in discipline. You know, the kids, are, uh, we don't believe in timeouts. We believe in the three rules. If we tell you something, you don't listen. And we tell you again, you don't listen. Then you get a warning. Then the third time, there is no discussion. You know, they come in agreement with me that they're going to get a spanking. <laughs> so they, they, they never hate their father. They never dislike me. You know, they love me because we came into the agreement, you know, that if they do it the third time, there is no discussion. Well, a good way to compromise with them or go ahead and tell them they messed up. And what about you? Now, you're going to be the lucky one to stay in Athens, Alabama. Yes, I, I'm, I'm the blessed one that's going to be here. <laughs> my name is TJ Polita. Uh -huh. and, uh, I'm here also with my wife, Tanya Polita, mm -hmm. and we're happy to be here in Athens, Alabama. Which I understand your wife's not an early bird. Uh, she, she's <laughs> the not alarm an early went bird. off today and she said, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Where, so you're going to be, you're moving from where? To from Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Mm -hmm. I came out of the Kent Washington branch. Right. You're going to miss rain. Does it rain a lot in Seattle? Oh, a lot of rain. <laughs> not the rain. <laughs> well, great. Well, welcome to Athens, Alabama. Thank you. Thank you. What do you want people to know to come visit you in your center? What would you like to say? Oh, just that we're, we're a life-changing ministry. We are. That we're all about, you know, working with our youth. We have a big, exciting um, championship training program mm -hmm. that's about to go live on September 22nd. With the we're, we're in a connection with the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. Right. So we have an agreement with the director, Christine, there to... Uh, Boys and Girls Club to where they'll come out and they'll bring all the kids from all the neighborhoods. Good. We work them out and we basically teach them about the principles about you know why it's so important to be a student athlete. Right. You notice the word student becomes before athlete. Right. I mean you're no good to your football team you know if you can't get to the classroom, the classroom part of it. Right. So we're excited. We're, we're very excited my wife and I and um, this Saturday is going to be official for us and um, we're here to stay. Oh, that just made me think of Boys and Girls Club. Ramsey was up here not too long ago, and he's wow. now an athlete who plays football, and he was uh, just grew up basically with the Boys and Girls Club. So a lot of good comes from that, right. too. We need his number as well. Oh, wow. Well, I can pass yeah. that along to you Thank for you. sure. And Suzanne Rainey, head okay. of the Boys and Girls Club. She okay. knows him quite well. She'll be able to put you in touch with him. Okay. And Pastor Tick, is that Kit? Kit. Kit. Pastor Kit. Kit. How are you? I'm great. I'm good. Great. Good to be here. <laughs> And All where are you from? from? Monterey, California. Yep. Monterey. You know, we talk bad about you California people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like you're keeping them straight, though. Yes. Oh, yes. good. And you have how many children? I got five. Five. Five kids. The oldest is 16. And my oldest daughter is... Oh, that lucky is age. Exactly. 16. 13. And well, All good. <laughs> same thing. Good. Over the knee. <laughs> Train them up while they're young. You have to. You have to. What What do you say to parents? I mean, I know a lot of people want to do the timeout or just go to your room and all that. Of course, then you're constantly telling them that because mm -hmm. they didn't listen the first time or the second time or the third time. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? What? What do you tell them when they're like, "No way, am I going to spank my child?" Well, the reason why Teach I, I own, believe, obviously. Well, we believe you know. Well, look at the results. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you know. Kids nowadays are killing people, you know, they're doing things we didn't even think about. Could about. Imagine when we were growing up, you right. know. So, and I, and I believe it's because of that. And if we can get the message through, if we can change one parent and then they can step up and say, you know what, this does work and this doesn't work, you know, then I think it's going to, you know, it's, it's going to spread out to, to everybody else, you know, one by one. You know, we can't win everybody. We can't convince everybody, but we can convince one or two and then continue to work on on everybody. Well, out of six children and none on drugs or in jail, well, job well done. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> job well done. Again, how can people get in touch with you, Pastor TJ? I can get a uh, hold of me uh, via cell number. I'll leave my cell number with the, with the right. station. Okay. Also, I've got business cards that I'm going to hand out after. Great. Do you have a Facebook page or a website? Yes, or I do. Yeah. What is the website address? Sold Out Christian Center International. No, no, no. Sold Out Christian Center Dot org. Dot org. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. And if you need a phone number for Pastor TJ, I'll be happy to pass that along. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's sold out, spelled S-O-U-L-D. S-O-U-L-D. All right. Well, anything else you want to say? You came all the way from California. 
Well, we want to be able to uh, be a service to uh, Athens, the city of Athens. You know, we want all the, you know, the police officers to know that we're going to come alongside them. You know, and you're right. You know, California is, especially San Francisco, very liberal, and um, we have favor with all of the. Are there any chick flies out there? There are none. <laughs> there are none, and we should have. Aww. We need. We need some. Yeah. And we're proud of of Chick Fil A and what they stand for. You know, and. Um, we need more people like that, yep. you know, to stand up for what is right, you know, for, um, and and the kids are, are, are the future, you know, and mm -hmm. so the world That's wants sometimes to. sometimes a scary statement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, the so world, a lot of work to be done. Yeah. All right. Well, Lots thank you work. guys for being with us this morning. Good thank luck you so you. much. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having so us. Thank you for the You're very welcome. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Johnny Lee Dees just made it into the studio, and we're going to hear from Roy Williams as well. Stay with us. I know we both be going down there. <laughs> you know, like a high. I'll go down and see Papa Rocco. When is it? What's that, the second weekend of October, Seafood Shrimp Festival? Is that right, Tom? Seafood Festival down at the Shore, second week of the month, October? October. October. Yeah. All right. I guess we're going. I love seafood. Yeah. I just love going. All right, Roy Williams up here. Herbs and more, 10% off each and every Wednesday. We need to start that church. You get 10% off. No. no, we better not do that. Uh, 10% <laughs> off down at Roy's place each and every Wednesday. Just mentioned something about the program. Business on the stand is still good. If oh, I take this properly, I'd remember that. It's great. <laughs> well, you know, I, I took some home with me, but I kept forgetting where I left. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great product, y'all. No kidding. The Alzheimer's or, uh, you know, dementia or anything like that. Prevagen is proving to be very, very effective. We got people come in and buy it or that are swearing by it. Hadn't lost my memory yet, so I can't tell you for sure on my own. <laughs> I want to talk today about, you know, people come in sometimes and they say, Roy, it seems like your products are priced higher than the others in the store. And I go, well, they're better than the others in the <laughs> store. But, you know, I want people to understand the average markup in a nutrition store or a health food store is about 30%. And I, you know, we don't, don't make your beans about. We got to keep the lights on. We got to keep the doors open. But listen to this: the true cost of your prescription drugs. Mm. <coughs> You're going to be shown. Oh, I'm telling you, it's amazing. And this is by Sharon Davis and Mary Palmer. And by the way, uh, Sharon Davis and Mary Palmer work for the U.S. Department of Commerce. Okay, so, this ought to be interesting. <coughs> it's very interesting. It says the woman who wrote this email and signed below is a federal budget analyst in Washington D.C. So. When I tell you what I'm telling you, I'm not making this stuff up. Celebrex, y'all have heard of Celebrex. Yeah, yeah. That's the one they put on the market to ease pain for arthritis. They took it off the market because it killed about 5,000 people, caused heart attacks. <laughs> Uh, then they put it back on the market because they said that, well, the, the benefits outweigh the negative part. So it's back on the market. Celebrex 100 milligram, <coughs> customer price $130. Guess what the general active ingredients in it cost? 60 cents. Wow. You know what kind of markup that is? That's 21,712 percent <laughs> markup. Now, <coughs> if I did that in my store, <laughs> you, know, you would be close. You, you couldn't do it. I, just not. Claritin. Claritin is an allergy yeah. product. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 100 tablets, $215. Cost 71 cents per uh, for the ingredients in the whole bottle. That's a 30,000 yeah, percent. Yeah, but it takes a lot. That cotton's expensive. <laughs> Well, I always said the cotton in the bottle is the most expensive part of it. And then when you're talking about drugs, you're not kidding. That's why we do two month supplies, by the way. You know, people don't realize it's, uh, they often ask me, Roy, why do you do two month supplies in your product? Well, number one, 50% of the cost in any nutritional supplement is in the encapsulation, the cotton swab, the seal on top, the seal on the outside, the label, and the shipping. So if we could cut that in half by simply doing two month supplies, and we did, and it's become pretty famous in the industry now. Lipitor, <laughs> uh, by the way, don't ever take that drug for crying out loud. I'd get into that some of the time, but it'll kill your liver. Lipitor, $272 for 100 tablets, cost $5.80. That's a 4,696% markup. I'll get into a couple of really good ones, though. <clears throat> we'll get over here to, uh, let's look at Prevacid. All right, that's a yeah, acid, uh, reflux acid reflux drug. Yeah, 
$44.77 for 100 tablets compared to others don't sound too bad, but the markup on it's 34,136 percent. My goodness. That's the markup on these drugs, y'all. It's crazy. Prilosec, another one is 69,000 percent markup, and the worst of all are Prozac and Xanax. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, now you can make money off them Xanax. <laughs> yeah, they do make money off the Xanax. <laughs> you can make money off them Xanax. You Stop, can. that's illegal. Prozac, 20 milligram, 100 tablets, $247, cost 11 cents for the ingredients. Get out. Oh, no. wow. What a, about those sexual enhanced? Uh, we'll oh. get, uh, we, we won't get we into won't that. We won't get into that. <laughs> but that's a 224,000% markup. Now that's insane. Xanax is the worst of all. One milligram Xanax, $136.79 for 100 tablets, cost 0.24 cents for the ingredients. It don't even cost a quarter. Oh yeah, well, no, it's zero, zero point two. Oh, you don't not even. Not even that that ingredient. Oh, well, man, I could be a zillionaire. Yeah, you know I might go to jail, but before I got caught, I'd be selling that stuff. You know what the percentage markup there uh, figures out to? That's five hundred and sixty-nine thousand. So when you're markup. saying there's profit in prescription pills. Woo! Holy smoke, no wonder there's a new prescription. That's over the counter stuff. Over the counter. Yeah, yeah, no wonder there's a new drug store on every corner and there's some of the prettiest buildings you've ever seen they're making a fortune. And even the, the generics are marked up as much as three thousand percent. Now, I know they've got research involved in these making these prescriptions and I mean it costs about $35 million to do a double blind control placebo study because the FDA set it up that way. <laughs> you know why they do that? So we can't get it done to prove to you that our supplements are better than drugs, but I've got a better way to prove it to you. We're at almost 100%. Listen very carefully to how I say this. People who get on our supplements and take them the way I tell them to for one year are getting better medical reports across the board 100% of the time. You can't say that about any drug. What do you get on a drug? Well, if you get on a drug for acid reflux, you end up on a drug for high blood pressure because if you take acid reflux drugs, they make your blood pressure go up. Of course, the blood pressure drug is going to give you headaches, so then you're on a painkiller. You make me sick. It boy. just keeps on going. It's a vicious cycle. So <laughs> what do we do? We try to teach people that the way you support your health is through proper nutrition. And I brought a product today I want to share with you all called Ultra Bone Health. You know, osteoporosis is a major issue in America today, and you don't have to be. The only reason we're getting so much bone loss, having so much bone loss in America, is what we eat is so acidic, the soft drinks we soft drink drinks. are so acidic, yeah, that they rob you of your bone mineral density. See, when you put acid in your mouth, your body has to pull calcium, magnesium, potassium, sulfur, and boron out of your bones and dump it in your blood so you don't fall over dead from acid blood. But you don't die immediately, you end up with osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, junior bones, these bones burst, kidney stones, gallstones, atherosclerosis, <laughs> hardening of the arteries, kidney stones, gall, uh, you also get calcified tissue. I'm just going to kill myself. Ar arteries. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm serious, this is what happens when you eat acidic foods and take synthetic drugs. <clears throat> what is ultra bone health? It's simple. <clears throat> you look at the ingredients, it's exactly what your body needs to manufacture healthy bone. <clears throat> Somebody told me one time, well, how do you know your body can manufacture healthy bone? Do you think you got those bones magically? You grew them. <laughs> your body knows how to grow bone. It just needs the raw material necessary so it can manufacture the bone. This is not rocket science. And you know what's in, in, uh, in the drugs that they give you, like Boneva? You know what's in there to help you grow bone? Nothing! <laughs> Zero! I'm not, I'm not taking that, Alma. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Roy, uh, we just try to make a point. Y'all go buy the herbs more on every Wednesday. 10% off. Just mention something about the program. Roy, uh, Dyer's Delight. Don't, Don't get to leave that to me. I'm already out. Best weight loss supplement in the world. Oh, earth. Thank you, Roy. Always a pleasure Thank to you. see you. Good to be here. All right. <laughs> Y'all fired up enough now? Stay tuned. Johnny Lee Davis is next. Y'all hang on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
coming up, man. I actually, uh, two weeks from tomorrow. I know. On my it? birthday. Is it really two weeks from tomorrow? Two weeks already. Who plays for on Thursday night? North Carolina and uh, no, Vandy plays South Carolina that first night. Oh, good. And Tennessee plays that Friday night against North Carolina State. Great. And Auburn plays at six the next night, and we play at seven. There you go. It's going to be a great. All big. Sound like you're ready. Oh, all of them. Everybody. John, I have got to ask you a biblical question. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> What's a goober-looking face? A goober-looking. <laughs> Did we just have a shot of that? Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We just. Say, I, I'm going to use that to your own description there. That's right. But uh, anyway, we. That, that's pretty cute, Jamie. <laughs> well, I mean, you said it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did. Goober-looking yeah. face. You don't want to have a goober-looking face. John, you say we got to get back to basics, and I need to do that same thing I wrote down there. Me too. Yeah. That's what you were getting back to, and you you kept. You actually kept trying to, you kept apologizing for the sermon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Why? Well, the, the reason is, is because, uh, you know, we've been there for about 10 years and, and, and Nintendo have had a great time doing that. But as, at our 10th year, what I decided to do is, is, and I used Vince Lombardi's illustration where he held up a football at the beginning of football season. And again, there he was with a bunch of world-class uh, great football players. And he said, gentlemen, this is a football. And so what what I decided to do is, uh, for a few weeks is just go back to the very, very, very basics. And the very first thing was just to describe what indeed is a Christian. And that was a very, very basic message. But, but I think one that was well received by everybody. Now, you told me I'm a saint. Yeah, that's exactly right. St. Jamie. St. Jamie, that's right. That's scary. Yes, well, that's right. I, I, Jamie's referring to that in Christ, uh, you know, we may not always act like it, but in Christ, if we're in Christ, we are considered to be a saint of God. And, of course, then I had everybody turn to their neighbor and say, hey, I'm St. Jamie, I'm St. Gloria, or whatever. And, um, of course, we did have several several of the wives when their husbands, I was going to say, when several of the wives said, several of the husbands said, I'm St. So and so the wives said, yeah. Yeah, you think, but uh, no, but in Christ, we are a, a saint, you know, but what we think of a saint is the Catholic Church, after hundreds of years, evaluate someone who declares them a saint, but in the Bible, we're called a saint uh, if we're in Jesus Christ. I have to contradict you on one statement yes, sir. you made. You yes. said all of us in this room are, are kept, we're like sheep. Yeah. That, well, how come I'm like a jackass? Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> I under, understand. Understand biblically, you, you know, you're not described as a jackass, but you are described as a sheep. Now, you may have Whoops. described. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll keep no, no, no. That's right. That's right. You may have the donkey sound. Why is it I love being miserable, John? Well, you're a whiner. You're a complainer. That's because you don't take good care of me. Uh, I thanks. do. I'm going to start taking this right here where I remember it. <laughs> I, I will say one thing about Jamie, what he's just saying. Of course, he's not miserable, but the fact of the matter you is. You don't know me, John. I, I, yeah. I need more toys. <laughs> we, uh, we, we talked about that, too. A lot of us are that way, but I, I've never had anybody come into my office and sit there and say, you know, Pastor, I just like to become a more miserable person. You know, I've never had anybody say that. People like say, I, I want to become a happy person or a joyous person, but I've never had anybody say, Pastor, could you could you help me become a more miserable person? Never had anybody say that. That's we not just a heard that. I want to help me be a more miserable person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this you got against Lady Gaga? <laughs> you know, I, I have nothing against Lady Gaga uh, as far as a human being, but I will That's say not. this, I will say this, um, and just like the Chick-fil-A thing, just she's, she's and, I, and I noticed it in my office with young people coming and talking to me about their sexual orientation issues and things such as that. Listen, Lady Gaga sings the song, of course, I'm on the right track, baby, I was born this way, which is almost a suggestion that, hey, I'm this way, and whatever your sexual orientation is, it's no big deal, it's, I was born this way. And in a frame, in, 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 in one reference, she's correct. We're all born sinners. We're all born with a tendency to disobey God. And whether you're born homosexual, heterosexual, or whatever your sexual orientation is, that's not the issue. The issue is, are we going to obey God and what he says about our sexual orientations and the way we practice our, whether heterosexual, homosexual, or either side, the, the question is, and, and really and truly, a, a more proper st st uh, song of hers would be, I'm on the wrong track baby uh, and I need to change this way because we can just embrace everything and say hey this is you know that, that, that that's cool and all what were those but, lyrics again John I'm gonna try to write that I understand <laughs> but I, my, my only point is that that culture so much of culture uh, convinces us that this is okay this is okay this is okay and folks
folks, listen, if the Word of God is the Word of God, then we must look to the Word of God and see what it says. And that's all that I'm trying to say. It's hard to believe you said next month will be 10 years since you crossed point. Isn't that amazing? One in Rocket City, wouldn't it? One it was, yeah, and, right. and, and then and Gloria and Jamie were there the very first Sunday. First two to join. First two to join right there. You're not getting a medal. Right, 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 right after that. Yeah. Thank right. you all Let's so much. Let's change the subject. I want to get your opinion on what's happened to college football players, John. You know, uh, ego. Well, sure. I mean, you know, and sure. You played it Auburn years ago. It wasn't that bad. Well, I, I, you know, the I don't. World's I, different. I, I, yeah, and that's <laughs> that is is a, is a what Gloria just said. You know, we live in such a Twitter world and 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 all that kind of stuff, and so in instant news about everything. And unfortunately, you know, and you're thinking, of course, the kid out of LSU. Unfortunately, Honey Badger. He yeah, smokes what he wants. Yeah, well, you know, he's a, he's a fabulous uh, punt return oh, guy and a fantastic guy. And unfortunately, do you, um, you honestly think he'll go clean for one year? Well, I think that's what I think that's one thing that tickles me sometimes when people say, "Well, you know, um, marijuana is not addictive." Well, then you know, why, why do these guys get you know caught up in these things? It, it is, and it's a shame. And I hope he gets his life together and goes on and makes millions in the NFL. I hope so. Well, let me give you this big article today yeah. on one of y'all y'all's best player ever for one year, yeah. Cam Newton in USA Today. If y'all want to read all about it. I Good. Thank you. Time, but y'all can. Um, Thank you. So he's a phenomenon. He really, he really is. I mean, come on. He is a, he's a freak of nature and uh, and and uh, freak of nature, kind of like me. Yeah, that's right. That's I, I, when I first saw him. When I first saw him, I said, "Dad, gum that guy reminds me." Got a smile like Jamie Cooper. I said, "It reminds me of Jamie Cooper right Not there." Johnny 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 Johnny. 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 <laughs> we're the new church, y'all. Invited to come down to join. We'll have room for about five thousand of y'all. There you go. God bless you. Thank y'all so much. All right, Johnny. We got to get out. We'll see y'all bright and early tomorrow. We'll be talking sports. Shut up and be back, Zach. The whole bunch. Jaw Jacker. See y'all tomorrow morning. Bye bye. Love